welcome back to my channel. My name is Priyanka, but I like to call myself as Creepy Rainbow. So to those who are new to this space, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by. But before you leave, you make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon because that is really important. You guys know the drill. Okay, so today I am back with another exciting tutorial. Now today I am going to show you a basic smoky eye. I know I have already filmed a smoky eye tutorial using James Charles palette which I will link here that is like really good smoky eye tutorial like those warm tones and everything and I bet you don't want to miss that but today what I am going to do is I am going to show a different technique because in my previous video I didn't really show you uh, by using a eye pencil but today I am going to show you using an eye pencil and for this look i am just going to use only one or two eye pencils depending on the shades i might go for black and brown or just only black but the biggest twist of this video is going to be that i'm not going to use any eyeshadow yes you heard me right i am going to create this uh, smoky eye using only and only one eye pencil and I'm not going to use any eyeshadow. So if you want to know how I'm going to create that, then keep watching. First, I'm going to prep my skin. And for that, I am using this simple uh, hydrating moisturizer. Yes, I am not putting any primer because literally I don't need to go anywhere. So yeah. <laughs> Next, I am using this L'Oreal Infallible uh, foundation which is completely out of focus uh, on my face as my foundation of course and I think I am in the shade called 105 but for the exact product details and shade details please uh, check my description box. You guys always know I put everything over there. And I'm blending this foundation with help of a damn beauty sponge. This one is from Yshi, another favorite of mine. Now for my under eyes, I need to actually color correct for the very first time because I don't know why but lately my dark circles are like going crazy. So this one is uh, from the NYX color corrector palette and I'm using this yellow kind of concealer and first I'm blending that over that I'll be applying my concealer. That I'm going to put my concealer and for that I am using this Sugar Ace of Face foundation stick. You guys know how much I love it. Uh, to put as my concealer because it has a very creamy thick consistency and the shade I'm using here is uh, I think 01 latte yeah and uh, I'll be blending that too of course with my YC makeup sponge to set my face I am using this Faces Canada loose powder I think this is mineral loose powder and I'm just applying it uh, wherever I have put my concealer and I'm applying this powder with help of a fluffy brush. For my brows, I am not going to really define them very very stark because whenever I make my eyes really bold, I keep my brows very subtle and soft and for that I am just brushing them upwards and then going to set it with uh, the Kralan Brow Gel. For my contour, blush and highlight, I will be reaching out to my Sugar uh, Contour Deforce palette and this palette is in the shade called Subtle Summit. So I am just putting all over my face the highlighter, then the blush and then the... No, sorry. <laughs> I am putting uh, this palette all over my face. First the contour, then the blush and then the highlighter. Okay, so my face is done and my I have done my one eye off camera. I'm going to show the other one on camera. And for that I am using uh, today these two eye pencils. One is from The Sugar and one is from Faces uh, Canada. One is in the shade black and one is grey and I will be working with these three brushes mainly. What I'm doing is I'm first applying the cold pencil uh, near my lash line and then I'm just going to blend it out with the ring fingers. Trust me guys, fingers are the best makeup tools you can get. Okay, so don't sh uh, feel shy to use them. Next, I am using this grey eye pencil and just going to blend that as well. And for that, I am using this small tip fluffy brush. This uh, brush has the really dense bristles which just gives me a nice precise bl blended look. And this um, eye pencil particularly is very very creamy so I don't really have any issue to work with and I am just pulling my eyes like that because that way uh, 
these pencils are not going to settle in any creases and you will get a smooth blended look and i'm using this real technique fluffy blending brush to give it a smooth transition just take your time and keep blending for my lower lash line first i'm applying that dark black coal pencil blending that first and i will be following that up with the gray coal pencil and will blend that too you guys know how much i love to smoke out my lower lash line it just gives you a very dramatic look which i am always up for yeah <laughs> I know this technique might take some time and if you are a beginner it uh, might be a bit intimidating but it's like it's very very easy you just keep blending and keep building it up now to set it i am using just this nyx hd finishing powder and that's it guys i am not going to use any eyeshadow to set this look because uh, uh like you don't really need anything your eyelids are really blended and well pigmented now i'm just using some uh highlighter on the brow bones and for this i am taking the uh sugar one now for my inner corner i am taking this nyx ultimate bright palette and just using this grayish uh, green tone on my inner corners this is completely optional you can just put some regular highlighter and very important step don't forget to tight line your lower lash line and for my lashes i am going to prep them up with this l'oreal voluminous lash paradise uh, mascara I am going to use my lashes false lashes and I think these pairs are from NYX and that's it guys we I am done so just mandatory eye flips and everything needed to be done but then I just realized something yeah <laughs> my lashes are not properly glued for my lips i am definitely going to keep them nude and for this i am taking this uh, warm coral shade but but you can apply anything you can go for browns you can go for nude pinks or mauves and even you can go for bold for that matter if in case you are into that and i am just sealing it off with some gloss and that's it some mandatory beauty shots are coming up so yeah stay tuned <music> so this is the final product like final finished look and i think it turned out really really well however i would like to say a few things uh first of all in this tutorial i didn't really prep or prime my eyelid with any concealer or any uh foundation because of the same reason that i don't want to cake uh my eyelids up and secondly you really need to work uh in section wise I don't really just like go heavy handedly and put all over uh, your eyelid the kajal pencil or coal pencil and then start to blend it because I always 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 say like gradually build it up that's the way you will have like much more control over your makeup and uh, the most important thing that you need to use in this technique uh, that you need to uh, opt for a good creamy coal pencil you don't really need to use these specific uh, products you can even create this look with one eye pencil be it a gray one be it a blue one be it a black or brown one even you create this uh, look with the most uh, like well known coal pencil the faces one faces canada one i am not really sure if you will be able to create this look with the maybelline colossal kajal one because the maybelline one is really pigmented but it's not that creamy it like uh, tends to set very quickly uh, but that's not a bad product i'm not at all saying that is a bad product but what i'm trying to say is you really need to work with something really really creamy okay and uh, yeah that is it i mean i didn't really use any eyeshadow i just opted for a uh, transparent loose powder yes the second thing i needed to uh, mention that you to set this eyes you need to use something transparent not really your normal compact powder which has a tint to it because that way you will just lose pigmentation you just need to use a translucent or transparent powder even you can use johnson baby powder for god's sake okay i didn't really have my johnson baby powder near me so that's why i just uh, use this one but you can use any talcum powder also you can use anything okay so apart from that am i missing something oh yeah the in a corner ones that is completely optional you can totally skip this but you guys know me i always like love to play with colors and that color actually is matching to uh, with my top so 
I just had to put this uh, on my inner corner. And also the lips are completely up to you. Keep it nude, keep it loud or whatever, whatever you just want to do. So I just hope you really really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you do, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.